Hello out there, we're on the air. It's Seems like everyone is jumping on the Vancouver Canucks bandwagon these days, whether they like it or not. I'm a bandwagon jumper. I had to jump on board when I married my husband. It was kind of a deal breaker. I'm a bandwagon jumper as well. And that's only because they're in the playoffs. If they weren't in the playoffs, sorry. The real winners are the retailers. The Sedin jersey will set you back 150 bucks. Add 200 if it's autographed. And jerseys are not just for men anymore. Uh, a few women have phoned us asking for jerseys, but even uh, Reebok is uh, sold out of all the women's jerseys. One would think that the most popular jersey would probably be a Luongo or one of the Sedin twins, but strangely enough, they tell me, the folks in the sports business, that the most popular Canucks jersey remains Trevor Linden. Linden still may be popular, but his value in the hockey card business remains stagnant. Bottom line is, if you don't win the cup, you're not worth as much. Uh, if they win, then you know maybe some of the current Canucks cards will increase in value. But as far as the old ones, um, they hadn't won it, and so those, those aren't really changing in value. Money aside, the Canucks, for some offer a release. What really is happening here is this is operating as a distraction from some really important and pressing issues that are going on right now uh, in the province of British Columbia. You look at something like HST, it keeps them comfortably numb, I guess, so to speak. Numb or downright stressed out. I hate watching them. You know, I hate watching them because it's just too tense for me. The Canucks are, are giving me possibly like high blood pressure. Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media. You can name is the good old